Welcome to Real IQ. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reset your NID and password without losing your data. So let's get started. Okay, so someone has asked me a question, how you can reset your password in NID and without losing the data. And I didn't find any credible solution online. So that's why I'm creating this video. So usually if you go to NID and your local host and you forgot the password, if you do forgot password, you cannot do anything because it's not going to work that way unless you have set up the enterprise account. Okay. So for this one, I'm just going to show you that uh, this account is working and I have a few, a few of the flow created as well. So, So as you can see, I have two workflow created. This is just dummy workflow, nothing new. So, and then I'll just do sign out. Okay. Let's suppose I don't know the password. So how I, how I can reset this? So first thing you need to do, open up your terminal. Okay. Inside your terminal, you are going to look for your Docker container. So we'll be just doing Docker PS. So for now, this container is running for us and simply users need to write this command here okay so it's going to be docker execute dash it and again i'll just copy it and i'm pasting it with Control shift v okay then you can just say and user management and reset okay once you type this and enter okay so it says that it successfully reset the database default user now after doing that you just need to restart your container so i'll just do restart here Okay, so the container has been restarted and I'm going to use the private window or private mode, incognito mode, whatever you want to say it. Localhost. So you should be able to see new credentials. So I'll just create new credential. Again, this is just a dummy email. And now you can see your both of the workflows are here that's how you can reset the password there are different ways available online if you search it but none of them actually work they just reset everything and you lose your data as well you lose your all the workflows so that's the best way to do it just reset the user configuration and your data is still safe for future purposes i would highly recommend you to back up the data okay so any file you have it Within your document, we have created an and data. So just copy paste it. Make sure that this data is safe. And that's how you can make sure that your workflows are safe as well. Okay. So that's it for today's video. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.